Morning, Arsene. Can we start with your latest team news, please? Well, uh, from uh, Wednesday night, uh, we had, of course, Jack uh, who was injured, but uh, we had very good news yesterday morning. I saw him walking normal, his can is good. He's not out yet of a game on Sunday. So that uh, a positive news. Uh, we'll have Ramsey back in the squad. We have an uncertainty about uh, Ozil. He will have a test, uh, I believe, earliest tomorrow. Uh, that at the moment is a bit 50-50. And uh, all the other players will still be out for for Bournemouth. In terms of the three defenders, Vlasenac, Koscielny, Monreal, have you got a time frame on when they could be back? Uh, Koscielny next week, Kolasinac next week. He has a little, little chance to be available, Kolasinac. And uh, Monreal earliest next week as well. Of Bournemouth having uh, quite a tough season so far, but they always make it difficult. Yeah, because we last year was a spectacular game. Uh, we have finished 3-3, three, three, but uh, overall, uh, yes, uh, we are a team who has a bit m more difficulties this season. But uh, down there, they can make it difficult for anybody. Olivier Giroud is two weeks away. I have not been asked about Olivier Giroud because they asked me about the defenders. <laughs> I, I, I was having trouble keeping up. So he's two weeks away. Giroud. Yeah. Um, what's wrong with Ozil? His knee. Yeah, he had a swollen knee and a uh, recurrence of what he had uh, two, three weeks ago. And uh, that's why he did, was not involved on Wednesday night. Um, this game a year ago was a very exciting game, 3-3. Three, three. Your memories of it? Well, the nightmare. And after the relief and the frustration, because you could have won the game in the end. So, uh, uh, basically, what can happen in a game, in a story, you know, of a game, is that you can go through all kind of uh, state of mind. But uh, we had shown character again uh, in these kind of games, because but they had a, we had a slow start and they were absolutely uh, storming out. They were full of confidence at the time, you know, and uh, they were difficult for everybody because I think they've beaten Liverpool last year as well. So, overall, they had a good home record. Sanchez hit the headlines, you see what I've done there, by showing his frustration at the end, throwing his gloves on the pitch, I think was the, the image that people remember. Do you feel he's showing that kind of passion at the moment? Would you like to see more of it? Look, uh, I don't question Sanchez's passion. No. When he's on the football pitch, he wants to win, he's committed. I had many conversations about him and uh, uh, we talked about the fact that our people can always are uh, uh, observing you uh, with microscope when you are on a short-term contract. But uh, I never questioned his professional attitude when he's on the football pitch. Sanchez wants to win. When he shows the frustration, it's because we didn't win. So you've had many conversations about him. Have you had any with him recently about? Yeah, yeah, with him, with him. Yeah, of course. And what what, is, what, have, what have you said to each other about the situation? That he uh, he's, he's always fully committed. You know, he wants he uh, he never had uh, any problem uh, through his uh, attitude or his commitment. You say you, you don't you don't question his commitment and his uh, and, and his desire, but. His form is not what it was this time last year. But that, uh, that is not necessarily linked with the length of your contract, you know. That, that uh, can happen uh, even if you have 10 years to go. Is there any truth in the fact that Manchester United are now expressing interest in signing him and maybe Mkhitaryan being part of it? Look, uh, honestly, I, I cannot tell you much more at the moment about uh, this situation because. Uh, uh, nothing is really concrete at the moment. So there is some truth in it? Uh, you conclude that. Uh, you could say that uh, at the moment, uh, as soon as... It's not that I don't want to inform you, I don't want to give you wrong information, you know, and at the moment I must say nothing is decided one way or the other. Would a bidding war between two big clubs be beneficial for Arsenal? 
uh, bidding war is always beneficial to the guy, uh, to the club who can take advantage of it, but uh, we are not in that. We uh, basically, I maintain what I said many times, and uh, that uh, normally he should stay here until the end of the season, but we'll see. Just generally speaking, though, if you were a player, would you rather play for Pep or Jose? <laughs> 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 if I if I was a player, I would play from a club where I am and uh, with hundred percent commitment. <laughs> Just a final one on this. I know that the club, by and large, would, would be fearful of, or was perhaps fearful of the fan reaction to Sanchez leaving. Do you think now that is a problem? Do you think the fans have had enough and just want to see it put to an end? The what? The fans. Do you think they now care whether Sanchez stays or goes? I don't know, honestly, the fans, what the fans want is the Arsenal Football Club to win and uh, that's what we want all. So the, the only way to please the fans is to win the next game. They, they care more about the results than the individual uh, people. Sam Allardyce has said, just said in his news conference regarding Theo Walcott, it would be very nice if we could get it over the line, but there's nothing imminent. It would be a permanent deal and we'll wait and see. Theo Walcott to Everton. Again, I cannot give you more. I cannot tell you much more. Sam Allardyce is, uh, has made that statement, but uh, Theo Walcott uh, is here. He needs to play that, doesn't he, Arsenal? Yeah, of course. Uh, everybody wants to play. And just a final one from me, if I may. Would, would Malcolm be a replacement for Sanchez, potentially? <laughs> He's a good player, but uh, at the moment, uh, there as well, it's nothing is happening. Uh, we are not on that case at the moment. Thank you very much <laughs> for torturing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been tortured mainly about players going out. I mean, are you looking beyond a, a replacement for Sanchez or Walcott? Are you looking for any other players? Because, I mean, you have been hit by a lot of injuries in the last month. Four? For like defenders, are you looking for other other players to come in in this window? Uh, we don't. I don't rule it out. You know, not at the back, not in midfield, and not up front. Uh, we are open. We are on the market. We are active. And uh, but as well, I do not want to give you news that I cannot confirm after. And uh, in our on this transfer market at the moment uh, is very difficult. To things, uh, to come out with things, where as long as they are not signed, because things change very quickly. How big a game is Sunday? You've, you've had a, an up and down week, starting at Forest and better result at Chelsea. But your, your main goal this season now, surely, is, is to finish in the top four. So, how big a game is, is Sunday? It's a massive uh, importance of uh, this game, this kind of games, of course. And. Uh, <coughs> We have been uh, distracted a little bit by the Cups, but now we have to come back to the Premiership and uh, it's a very, very big game. Do you still see finishing in the top four in the Premier League your best route back into the Champions League? Better than winning the Europa League? I don't know. Uh, that, uh, there are two possible routes and uh, we want to explore both of them with 100% commitment. Uh, does it work one way or the other? We want to be in there. You uh, had a convincing win over Bournemouth at the Emirates earlier in the season. Uh, but as you said, last year they were really up for playing you. And, and they are one of these ten teams in a relegation battle. So nothing's going to be easy for you now between now and the end of the season, is it? No, but as long as uh, I told you many times, we are, the league is divided in two now. And uh, as long as uh, uh, you have a group of seven, eight teams fighting for the top four, and the rest basically fighting for not to, to stay in the league. And uh, as long as the positions are not settled, every game will be a cup game. And, and how much is, is your job now harder this season, maybe from last or from previous years, because you've got these players out of contract, so every week you're being tortured about whether or not they might be going, and the fact you've still got to try and get in the top four, and now you've had this, this cup shot. How, how much harder are you, you feeling it is now, this season, to manage it than previous years? It's not harder. It's, uh, uh, the, the problem in, in managing job is that uh, you face every week a different problem that you have to sort out, you know, and uh, uh, you have to find the solution to get the team to play with uh, to their maximum, as close as possible to their maximum, and to prepare them to do that. After that, uh, 
uh, you cannot complain it's hard or not. There are periods where it's more difficult, but uh, that's part of a job and it's an exciting part of a job as well. Awesome. With Alexis uh, only got a few months to run on his contract, is this something that you don't want to have to see happen again at Arsenal? Do you think you, you regret this current situation with these three players out of uh, contract at the end of the season? No, I don't regret that uh, because uh, at the end of the day, uh, or you can uh, access uh, to the demands of the players or you can't. And uh, if you cannot, uh, they don't extend their contract. It's as simple as that. It's a kind of a, a mathematical situation and uh, that you cannot change. Uh, Alexander Zach Lacazette hasn't scored a goal since the Man United game. Is he suffering from a bit of a crisis of confidence at the moment? I uh, don't. It, it certainly affects him a little bit, but I'm not worried. I, I think he was a bit diminished uh, physically on uh, Wednesday night because uh, uh, he was a bit uh, uh, not at his best before the game, but uh, was as well very isolated. It was a different game for a strike on Wednesday night because he did defend a lot. but. Uh, of all, I don't worry that will come back. It's a bit in cycles, uh, and uh, the moment he's going through a cycle, that is a bit more frustrating for him. Thank you. Um, Arsene, this is your, your final ban that you've got to serve in the three matches that you were given. Um, first Premier League match. Not being in the dugout for a Premier League game, how much does that affect you? Do you have a bit of influence? I would prefer to be uh, in the dugout, of course, but. Uh, I have to respect my ban, and uh, fortunately, it's the last game. Um, I must say, uh, the second game was not too bad because I was in a fantastic position <laughs> <laughs> in the media. Um, uh, you're quite spoiled. Mm -hmm. But should that not happen? Have you got a replace? Is he replaceable? Replaceable uh, in the way? Do we find exactly the same player? Certainly uh, not. Uh, but uh, there's always a, a way is to to find a different balance. You know, uh, Sanchez is an exceptional football player. He's a world class player, and uh, and uh, we have to. If that happens, we have to find a different balance in the team. In the summer, you, you didn't sell him because you couldn't get a replacement. Yes. Is that the case now? Look at the at the case. Yeah, it's the case now. So if you if you can't get someone else in, he won't go. Uh, you sum it up very well. <laughs> Do you want a quick resolution to all this, whatever happens? Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> Are you tired of talking about it? Uh, you know, uh, the f it's not the fatigue factor, it's just uh, I cannot tell you what I don't know. And so I don't want to give information that I cannot back up after because you will come back to me, why did you say that? And rightly so. So uh, I, I like to be a bit vague and uh, to use my all, uh, whole experience of press conferences not to, to talk things that I cannot back up after. Yeah. But have you given him any assurances over game time? Obviously no, game you cannot because you just cannot do it. Uh, it's it's not honest. So I mean that, but by doing that though, you run the risk of, of losing him, I suppose. We'll see. I'm quite. We have a good relationship with Theo, and I don't want him uh, to be frustrated or to uh, lose an opportunity to go to the World Cup because Theo. Uh, went to the World Cup in Germany, you know, in 2006, and uh, we are now in 2018. So, and since he has not been, uh, for different reasons, so uh, that, of course, uh, is a sensitive subject. I hope I'll be with you, <laughs> because I know we'll be in a good seat.